All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart in Excel. So let me start by describing what a pie chart is. Essentially, it's a circle that's divided into different sectors, and each sector represents some category of data. So this sector here represents the cars, trucks, and so on. The area of each sector is proportional to the frequency of that category. So here, this is a pie chart that shows the number of motor vehicle occupants that were killed in crashes in 2005. We can tell by looking at this pie chart that the majority of the vehicles in which occupants were killed in crashes happened in cars. Okay? This doesn't quite represent half the circle, but it's very, very close to being 50% of the, vehicle, of the uh, occupants killed in crashes were in, in cars. Next was trucks, okay, and then we have motorcycles, and then other. Okay, so this is an example of a pie chart. And pie charts are very useful for presenting qualitative data. All right, now let me show you how to make one in Excel. Okay, suppose I have this data here, which sorts the number of people on the Titanic by the class. Okay, so I have 325 people that were in first class, 285 that were in second class, and so on. I want to make a pie chart of this data. What I'm first going to do is select all of the data cells there. Okay, so column B should have all the frequencies. Column A should have the different categories of data. Then I'm going to go up to Insert and choose Chart. Okay, here on this line we have all the different types of charts that are available to us. We should choose Pie Chart. And then these are the different, essentially, um, stylistic choices you have for your pie chart. Let's just go ahead and choose the simple one that's this one. And there we have our pie chart. So here you can see that this represents first class. So this is a legend which tells you wh uh, what each different color represents. So second class is this one. We can see that it's slightly smaller in area than first class. So we know we had slightly fewer passengers in second class than we did first class and so on. The largest portion of people were in the crew. Okay, so now we have our pie chart. We can easily copy it and paste it into any other application.